Okay, let's give you guys some practice. So sum up all the terms of this series from the very first term all the way to infinity. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, our, our ultimate aim is to sum up sum up the from the first term all the way to infinity. So our ultimate aim is to sum up from the first term all the way to infinity. But rather than but, but rather than doing that, we would sum it up from the first term to some arbitrary nth term. So uh so so if, if if you were to sum up from the very first term all the way to infinity, we would use this notation S. We would use this notation S. But then if, if you're summing up from the first term to some arbitrary nth term, we would use this notation S N. So here we've got S N. You've we've seen this notation before. So uh so so our aim here is our, our ultimate aim is to sum up from the first term all the way to infinity, all the way to infinity. But in order for us to do this, we would need to sum it up from the first term to some arbitrary nth term, and then later on take the limit as n tends to infinity. So, uh, so for the first nth term, the sum, the sum of the first nth term would be, uh, when n equals 1, when n equals 1, put it into here, put it into here, this whole thing here would then become this. When n equals 2, this whole thing here will then become this. When n equals 3, this whole thing here will then become this. When n equals 4, this whole thing here will then become this. And the very last term would be, would be, uh, well, hang on. The very last term, remember we're doing it from, uh, from, well, from the first term to the nth term. So the very last term, this thing here would be exactly the same, would be this. And then, uh, and then the 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 the, uh, the second to last term would be us putting would be us putting n minus one into here, and then n minus one into here. So this whole the second to last term would be this would be this, and the one before that would be this. So basically, you're putting n minus two n minus two, and here n minus one n minus one. The 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 very last term uh, would be would be just n here up to the nth term. Okay, so so s n s s subscript n would be given by this whole thing here, and then now uh, tidy this up. So this times this, this times this, and then you add three, uh, blah blah blah. Uh, this times this, this times this. Um, this whole well the whole thing here. If you tidy up, it would then become this. So basically, it it becomes much neater here, much neater. Okay, so so the whole the whole uh, S N sum will then give us this. So now, if you look at this, um, uh, this will will cancel out with this, and then uh, and then this will cancel out with this. So if you look at it, you you got to look at the pattern when you get to this stage here. So so here you've got you've got one bracket, or you've got another one here. So the first will cancel out with this. The, uh, the right hand side of the second bracket. So, so look at the pattern. So this will cancel out this. If you look at this, if you look at this one here and this one here, the left hand side will cancel out with this one here. So, uh, so if you, if you look at this one, compare it to this one here, the left here will cancel out with the right over here. So this will cancel out with this. So as it turns out, um, the first, so this will cancel out with this. And then if you look at this one, this one here will cancel out with this. This one here. This one here will cancel out with this. This one here will cancel out with with whatever follows after this. And then now work backwards. The very last one. Uh, if, if you uh, if you if you compare this bracket with this bracket here, um, this will cancel out with this because remember the so so if you're comparing these two brackets, the the left hand side will cancel out with the right hand side. So basically this. Will cancel out with this, uh, and then and then if if you compare this uh, this one with this one, the left hand side will cancel out with the right hand side, and so on. As it turns out, everything will get cancelled out apart from this and and this. So uh, so S N S N would equal this. So S N would equal this. Remember S N S N is really us summing up from. Uh, Sn is really our summing up from the first term to some arbitrary nth term. Now we need to now we need to take the limit as n tends to infinity. So earlier we got to this stage here. 
earlier we got to this stage here where where SN is given by this. So so what 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 we've done here is that we've we've now got a formula for working out the the sum of the first uh, the the, uh, the the sum of the first nth term. So so what so so suppose you you want to add up the first three terms. That would be S three this n here this three here. Uh, so it would be you putting the n into here. So that would be minus a third. So you summing up the first three terms would be this. 1 over 2, uh, 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 this would be uh, 6 plus 1. So the first three terms, if you sum up the first three terms, it would, it would then give you this. So basically, you've got, you've, you now have the ability to work out the first nth terms. If, if you were to sum up the first nth terms, it would then give you this. So now take the limit as n uh, as n tends to infinity. So take the limit as n tends to infinity. So that will then give you this. So the minute you take the limit as n tends to infinity, then, then this s then becomes, um, re re remember, s on its own represents you summing up from zero, from the first term to infinity. Sn would be you summing up from the first term to some arbitrary nth term. So when you take the limit as n tends to infinity, this Sn will then become the S because you're, you're, you're summing up everything. So, so the minute you take the limit as n tends to infinity, this thing here will then become this. This thing here, well, the limit as n tends to infinity, this bit here will be zero, leaving you with negative a third. So, so if you sum up everything from the first term all the way to infinity, um, it will converge, the sum will converge to, um, to negative a third. Okay?